Okay, today we're at Aztec, right here on beautiful West 9th Street. We're speaking with Dave Scarepa and Josh Brown of Aztec. Hi, guys. How you doing? You know, Dave, uh, why don't you give us a 30-second the elevator speech on what Aztec does? Sure. Uh, Aztec is a uh, custom web design and development shop. Uh, we are Microsoft Gold Partners. Uh, we specialize in all things web, um, the full life cycle of, of web design development, hosting, uh, marketing, all the way around. So clients come in at any one of those spokes on our you know, kind of wheel of services and can make their way all the way through. Okay. And you're the chief creative officer. What, what is that entitled? It's a fancy way of saying creative director. Okay. It's a fancy way of saying art director. It's a fancy way of saying production artist. One of those. Things. And Josh, how about you? I'm the senior graphic designer. Um, I, uh, I mostly deal with the web. Uh, I pretty much follow through on all the projects, um, help a lot with the build out and uh, slicing up the designs uh, when they're done, and also do some of the designs on my own. Josh does all the real work. Yeah. You know, uh, web design development is obviously one of your, your key strengths. And let's talk a little about some of the new aspects of that. I mean, one thing that's not new, it's been around for, I don't know how many years, is CSS. Can you just, for those people who don't know, can you explain what uh, CSS is and why it's important? Mm -hmm. Sure, CSS is really um, a method for separating presentation from content. Uh, and it gives websites the ability to, you know, keep all the, the stuff that makes it pretty uh, separated from the actual content where, you know, years ago it was tables and all these extra graphics and all this extra markup to make your page look the way you wanted, um, but was a nightmare to pour through and maintain and for search engines to get their way through. And CSS basically simplifies and eliminates all that. And that's cascading style sheets. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... Are there any disadvantages to using CSS in your approach, in your design? Um, not that I can think of. Because uh, not everyone uses it. Is it because they don't know about it? Or uh, they're not hiring guys like you? Or Some of it is uh, it's because you know, the, a lot of the, the resistance is from the older guys who trained in a certain way doing table design and inline styles and font colors. And that's the way they know how to do it. And designing with C CSS is a completely different tool set. And there are some people out there who just don't want to learn how to do that. But I can't really think of any disadvantages. It's, it's much easier to make a change across an entire site with a style sheet than it is to go and find 30,000 font tags and replace yeah. them all. You'll still see a lot of old sites where like every page has all the definitions for fonts and all that stuff and all, but yeah, as you say, CSS is really a way to rapidly make some changes or to update and to keep it all in one area there. You know, we hear different versions of CSS. There was CSS 1 and 2, now we're hearing about 3. Can you tell us, does that matter to, to the average person? Uh, technically, I don't think so. Um, I mean, if you went up to somebody who wasn't a web nerd and mentioned CSS, they probably wouldn't know even what it stood for or what it does. Um, but to us here in the industry, it, CSS3 is a huge leap forward, um, and we're really looking forward to the, the point where enough browsers and enough people support it, and or enough browsers support it, and enough people are using those browsers that we can start to roll that out and not have to worry about older browsers that just can't handle it. And I think where it will matter to people, whether they realize it or not, is that we can start to build sites that load faster, perform more consistently. You know, it, it, it makes for better ways of implementing things that right now we're having to do all these silly workarounds for, um, and, you know, ultimately it'll be a better browser experience for people even though they don't know why. Even a year ago, I was building sites with things like rounded corners and, you know, boxes that were half transparent, and I had to do a lot of graphics tricks and pull in a lot of extra graphics in order to make that work. Now I can do a lot of that just with CSS, and it makes the it makes the build out process a lot faster, and it makes the page load a lot faster. Now is that because we're, do we need these uh, improvements and upgrades because of the new browsers, of the new devices, uh, both, all of the above? What's what's pushing the uh, evolution of CSS? I think a lot of it, you know, especially like when you talk about like rounded corners as a simple one. That's such a common design element. And so many designers were having to go through all these workarounds and all these extra hacks to produce what should be a very simple and straightforward effect uh, for a design. 
that it just made sense to you know start incorporating that into what's allowable in CSS.